All right, so the Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning trailer just came out a few hours ago. It's part one of a two-part movie. Mission Impossible is one of the few franchises that is still going, but continues to get better. Unlike some fast franchises we've been talking about recently. So what we're going to do today, we're going to watch the trailer. I'm going to react to it. And you guys are going to tell me what you think about the Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning trailer. All right, here we go. They say that to him every movie, and he still comes out on top. The world is changing. Oh. Truth is vanishing. War is coming. Oh, this looks good. Oh, ah, I forget his name of that actor, but he's good. Oh, he's from. Oh, what is he from? Yeah, this looks good. Classic car chasing has to be a Mission Impossible movies. Listen to me. The world's coming after you. His fate is written. Shall we write yours too? If anything happens to there's no place that I won't go. I was just about to say I don't see much of the crew. There we go. Some Ethan Hunt bullshit. Yep. Yo, the fact that Tom Cruise does his own stunts is kind of insane. Cause he's not a young, young guy. Ozark. That's where I know that guy from. He's from Ozark. First season. Is somebody in the crew actually going to die this time? Because they always get close. But it never happens. Yeah. I wonder if the part one... I wonder if the part one uh, moniker is to, to denote that this is the end of the entire... Uh, franchise after this one or after the after part two because um, what would that that would be eight they would have eight movies in total I'm really curious about that because it looks like as long as they're good they're going to keep happening I'm fine with that so when they start tailing off and you still try to resurrect it like some fast sagas that we know it becomes tedious and as a fan you kind of fall out of love with it what do you guys think have you watched the trailer have you seen any of the Mission Impossible movies if you haven't I'm going to tell you right now to go see for yourself. One through six. Second one's not great, but every one after that continues to be great. The second one could be great to you though, but you still have to, you know, see for yourself. So this is Ken Sparks from See For Yourself and The Blur Bar. I'll talk to you guys soon.